Hey, welcome! Today I have something for you that I've been working on for a long time and I've been having a lot of fun working on. It's the Laser RCW. Now I know I know there's already a Laser RCW on Bethesda Net, but the weapon is completely ripped from New Vegas. Like, I actually compared the textures from the gun and New Vegas, they're the exact same. So, that's against Bethesda's terms of service. It's against the Nexus's terms of service. The Nexus removed it as soon as it got uploaded to the Nexus, but for some reason it's still floating around Bethesda Net. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. But this one is made completely from scratch, so it's going to go up on the website, and it's gonna stay up on the websites until the end of time. So yeah, the meshes, the textures, it's all mine, I made it, and uh, it's either that or it came from Fallout 4, like the grip I took from the actual vanilla SMG. And I made mods for it too, to enhance your RCW experience. It's got a whole pile of mods actually, three muzzles, regular, compensator, and silence. The silence actually changes the sound, as it should. What's the science behind silence lasers? I don't know, maybe you should ask the Vanu. They seem to have things figured out with their spandex and their... their they're, uh... Anyway, it's got three receivers, which are regular, upgraded, and overcharged, all of which change the color of the weapon's energy. So it's red, green, and then, like, a bright red. Uh, reminiscent of a few mods from New Vegas, like EVE and WME. Two grips, short and regular, which are there entirely because they look nice and it's an SMG. They do the same thing as the vanilla grips do, so it's just recoil and less recoil on the bigger grip. So yeah, it's pretty cool. The silencer has its own sounds, like I said, so I'll let you hear that now. So that's cool, and it has also three sight mods, which I failed to include in my last gun. It's got iron sights, glowing iron sights, and a reflex scope. And yeah, that's about it for mods. The gun itself is pretty fun to use, it's like a slightly stronger version of the vanilla submachine gun, and what I did is just made everyone that spawns with a submachine gun also spawn with laser RCW, but they spawn more rarely because they're more powerful, but that way it gets distributed evenly, and it looks lore friendly, and Boston is like the perfect place for a submachine gun that shoots lasers because it's all like mafia-ish, and I don't know, it's cool. Yes, it does spawn on trigger men because trigger men spawn with SMGs, so you can find trigger men using the laser RCW. So confession time, I usually record these right when I get up on Thursday morning because I want to upload it on Friday, and at that time I only have like a little tweaking to do with the weapons and things that are pretty much done, and then I can edit the video all, all day Thursday and then upload it Thursday night and get it out on Friday, and it's a, it's a good day. Today was not one of those days, and I assigned way too much to myself this week, and it's currently 2 a.m. Friday morning, now it's a matter of principle that I make a video every Friday for you guys, regardless of what it is, and today is no exception, obviously, you can see that. However, I'm not going to try and make one weapon a week anymore because that's totally insane and it's a great way to shorten my lifespan and get grey hairs really early. So, I'm going to upload mods every other week and I'll do something else in between, who knows what it'll be, maybe it'll be a progress video or a gaming video or maybe I'll even get more than one video out per week. But I really don't want stress anymore and that's what trying to get one weapon out a week has given me and I hope you guys can understand that. Speaking of that, if you didn't see the planet side video I made last week, I'll shove a really quick annotation up here if you're interested in it because I had a pile of fun making it and I'm probably going to do that more often so it's an excuse to get better at video editing and I'd like to do YouTube forever. So as far as what I'm going to be working on after this, I'm going to try and work on the Fallout series weapons every other weapon. So next week will probably be something brand new and not from another game. Uh, I really want to do some kind of energy assault rifle similar to the Avenger from Mass Effect. So it won't be a beam weapon like the laser rifle, but it won't shoot big ugly globs like the plasma rifle either. But it'll shoot kind of like that, it'll be like bullets of energy. Like the, the Gauss rifle. I haven't quite decided on what I'm going to do with it yet, so we'll we'll see what happens when I make it. That's another reason I want to take more than one week to make it, because that way I get a lot more creative freedom to just diddle around in my, my sketchbook and figure out what I want to do. Moving on, I want to thank my friends over at Patreon. According to Mike, PBH Perseus, Sandre Sunbo, Nomad War Machine, and Red Shirt Guy. Red Shirt Guy is uh, someone new actually, and I wanted to put a picture of him up here, but he didn't give me one because he's a turd, so here's a picture of a sheep instead, and that will be his face for now on unless he gives me something else. Oh, speaking of Nomad War Machine, she's finishing up a mod soon that I made like two meshes in, 
but it's gonna be a big witchcraft quest mod that's gonna be centered around Salem and it's Salem's in the Commonwealth so it makes sense and I'm gonna make a video for that so look forward to that in the next couple days or uh, weeks maybe who knows um, it's fully voice acted and there's gonna be a lot of stuff to do and it's gonna be super duper cool so if you're if you're watching from the future I'll put an annotation here right 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 here that takes you to the video if the mod isn't released yet it's gonna take you to a Rickroll video, okay? Don't don't say I didn't warn you. Seriously, don't don't click it if the mod isn't released yet. It's a it's probably a Rickroll video. If you're mousing over it right now and it says this is a Rickroll video in big letters in the annotation, I'm not fucking I'm not lying to you, okay? Don't don't click it. It's a Rick I warned you. Don't say I didn't warn you. I fucking told you. Anyway, that's all I've got for today, so if you enjoyed the video, give it all- do, do whatever you want with the video. Make, make a DVD copy of it and have it run your company while you're away on vacation. It's on the internet now. You can do what you want with it. So you have yourself an- ab what? What's the- what's the opposite of abysmal? Shallow? Really? Shallow? Abysmal means deep? I thought it meant like bad or crappy or- Apparently it means deep or bottomless. Uh, uh ha have a good day. Don't have a shallow one. Enjoy enjoy your day that that isn't shallow. Bye. Oh.